Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I hope everybody's doing good today. Welcome back to my channel. So this past weekend on Easter Sunday was the season finale of SWV and Escapes Queens of R&B. And yes, it did pack a punch and a lot of drama. So in this week's episode, both groups set aside their differences to put on a fantastic show for all their dedicated fans. Now, Escape concluded the concert with their hit Understanding, but many people on social media feel that SWV should have closed the show with their hit song, Week. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into the aftermaths of the Queens of R&B. And if you guys do not know, Latasha Scott ended up going on to Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live yesterday. And everybody's talking about this. So after six weeks of craziness and drama on the show, Andy Cohen decided to sit down with Escape's Latasha Scott and SWV's Coco. And so he was there to basically ask them a whole bunch of questions, mainly shady questions, but questions nonetheless. So the juicy segment was called Can't Escape the Truth. And Andy basically grilled Latasha on everything from her allegedly stealing $30,000, her husband just kicking it and getting all types of kickbacks, okay? No pun intended. Just the two of them alone. And her open marriage that she talked about last week when she went live on Instagram. Tasha, I want to clear something up before I get into some other stuff that I want you to clear up. Okay. You said on Instagram Live recently, and it got so blown out of proportion yes. that you have an open marriage. What you meant was, oh my God. what you meant well, was, we communicate. We have open communication, yeah. right? Well, and then we keep things it. private. Yeah, and it so, got yeah. blown up to he say he doesn't have it that good. No. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to clear that up because I heard okay. that well, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. I was emotional that day, but. Now, as far as the money goes, Latasha is still claiming that she doesn't know anything about it. And she found out about these royalty checks, um, you know, missing from Tamika when they started filming the show. So y'all check this out. Um, so I want to talk about the 30 grand. If, if neither yourself or Rocky cashed in the royalty checks, what do you think happened to it? I don't know, you know, I saw this at the same time you guys did. You're okay. talking about, what, 11, 13 years that she said this happened. But because she said she posted it, and I did see that she posted it, I want to find resolve. That's my sister at the end of the day, and I don't want to continue to move forward if we can't find that. Um, what did you think of her post with all the receipts and everything? I, like I said, I learned about it at the same time you guys did. Um, I didn't know anything about it. Then Latasha also went on to deny that she had any knowledge of text messages between Rocky and the promoter who accused him of collecting kickbacks. Basically, Rocky was supposed to provide the promoter with all four girls from Escape and get a sum of money. And the promoter paid him half and all four girls didn't show up. And basically, Rocky ran off with the kickback. Kickback doing their own. And so that was why the promoter was blasting him. Uh, Tasha, since Rocky said he had the same text as the promoter did in those screenshots, how is it that he's claiming he didn't have, have dealings surrounding Escape? Did that give you cause for pause? No, you know what's crazy? This whole thing about the text messages, I was not in a text thread, so I don't know about any of that. So when people come at me with us, why don't you get Rocky to come up here and answer some of these questions? I don't know anything about that. Um, I'm a singer. I do that business. He does the other business. So, Coco, did it cause strife in your marriage? This? No, we had a lot of conversations. Now, he also asked Latasha about her cutting contact with Tamika. 
and she denied it. She says that, you know, sometimes Tamika may feel, you know, singled out because she was the wild child out of their family, but she's never blocked her from communicating with her. Why block her on social media and change her number? Never blocked my sister. You did not? I never blocked my sister. Why would I block my sister on social media? Now, they, now she's unfollowed me. Okay. But never blocked her, no. Uh, and I changed my number. It was so many things going on. I was getting crazy phone calls. And at the time, nobody was using it anyway. Um, do you feel that your mom plays favorites when it comes favorites. to you and Tamika? Or is she, you know, being <clears throat> dramatic when she says you're her mom's favorite? Um, maybe she she probably feels that way. Well, let me just say this. My sister was very rambunctious coming up. When I tell you she got in trouble by all of our aunts, she got kicked out of school. That's where she met Tiny. Okay. So she's always had that thing. And anytime my mother and I would try to talk to her, it's like, Tamika, listen, we don't want you to be looked at in that way. Like, change it. So it would, it would probably seem to her like we're one-sided. But no, we... We never wanted her to be in trouble, but no, Tamika had, she has had issues. Yeah. Uh, what's your response to the ladies continuing to perform without you and your sister taking your parts? Um, I don't, we don't mind because we've done that before. Uh, although we changed our name to Escape 3, you know, I just felt like they should have probably respected it in that way because it's not Escape until it's all four of us. That's just how I feel. Uh, but for them, I, I don't want them not to make money and do shows. That's not what it's about because I love to do music. I want to do music. They want to do shows too. Okay. So you want to now what's even crazier is that we've seen the mamas appear. We've seen Latasha and Tamika's mother appear and get drug on social media. You know they did. You see her acting like you don't know. Cut the cameras off. Then we've seen Tiny's mother, Diane, come through with receipts showing what happened on Tamika's behalf. And he talked to Tamika and she asked him questions about her checks and he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Well, now Mama Joyce, honey, is getting drug into the mix as well. So according to Latasha, she says that Candy's mom has not changed since Escape started as teenagers. And she says that Mama Joyce called her and told her to stop singing and says that it caused friction within the group. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Uh, you know, I was asking her about what was Mama Joyce like in the day. Oh, I mean, my gosh. It's wild to me because I only know Mama Joyce. I mean, by the way, I've now known Mama Joyce for 12 years or, or, or more uh, through the Housewives of Atlanta. But has she changed over the years? She has not. No, she has, she has not. not. She actually <laughs> called me and told me to stop singing on you... my Instagram. She said, stop singing. Really? You're causing a lot of friction. Yeah. Wow. So, no, she hasn't. She hasn't changed. Wow. How fun for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coco. All right, so you guys just heard that clip. So once that went viral on social media, Candy wasted no time taking to the blogs to say something. So Candy wrote, my mama doesn't even have Tasha's number. This is some bullshit. My mom has not called her. So that is what Candy had to say about the situation. I'm sure she'll be doing a speak on it in five, four, three, two, one to address the drama. So this season to me was pretty good, but the season finale definitely left us with more questions than answers. It definitely seems like this show was more drama filled than it was about uniting, but the final show was beautiful and it did end up turning out, but it was very nerve wracking watching it because it seemed like at any point in time, they would end up blowing up on each other and going their separate ways, but they were able to bring it together. Well, not to be outdone by Candy speak on it, Taj and Lily have also spoken on the season finale as well. And they definitely were not feeling how it played out. And they are over this show. And they're glad that the show has officially ended. So we're going to go ahead and watch what Lily and Coco both had to say about the season finale. Check this out. One this, one that. Because we were sharing everything 50-50 now. Like, we understood what we were told. Now, unless somebody's lying to us or to you, somebody got the assignment wrong. Uh, so when you decide you want to be a headliner, when that's not what we all discussed, and then you decide to proceed all over the internet and talk about our, our salaries and this and what you're supposed to be getting, and you don't want to take a, a pay cut to give us a, a, a raise or whatever it was that, that Tiny said, Honey, let me just tell you this. The only way we could cut your funds is if we literally cut them with scissors. We can't tell a promoter what to give you. If they trying to give you a demotion and take your money, it's because they wanted to. We had nothing to do with that. We have nothing to do with that. And to be such great business women, you would think y'all would know what you were getting into from day one, right? If you walk into a room, business women know what they're doing. So I don't know. 
That's just me. We knew what we were doing. The assignment was clear to us and we understood when we walked through that door what we were told. That's that. Oh, God. And just the back and forth, the bickering. It just it drove me crazy, y'all. When I say I am so ready to be done, this is this is it for me. <laughs> and then let's just talk about this. Episode. Oh, there's so many things that just and you know what? We were told we can't talk about editing. The show is over. The editing was bull sugar. OK, it was whack. It was whack, whack, whack. Oh my God, I'm so ready for this. I'm so glad it's done. Y'all can't even begin to understand how happy I am that it's done. I don't have to talk about SWV and Escape ever again, ever. Um, the whole thing with the song going last and us wanting to do everything and take everything. First of all, if you look at one, at one of the scenes, when I suggested SWV's week go last, the reply was no, like we didn't have a choice <laughs> anyway. Look like, come on, this is getting ridiculous already. We never asked to go on first or last. It was placed there that we're going first. So, okay, fine. We don't mind going on first, but we don't have the right to say what we want. Is that wrong? Can we not have a, a, an option at all? And then... Uh, <sighs> tonight's episode pissed me off so bad because I'm a lot of things, but what I am not is rude and disrespectful unless you are to me. And now Don Juan... I don't care for him at all. Like, especially with him talking on his little page or whatever. So, Don, if you're listening, I don't care for you. But what I will say is, I never told him to shut the fuck up. I would, Unless you come up in my face, I'm not going to tell you to shut the fuck up. That clip, I was probably talking to somebody else and something, and they clipped it like that. I, I would never tell Don Juan to shut the fuck up. So, that's, that's just that. It, the editing tonight just really pissed me off. Because I, one thing I always say is, I work too hard to be the woman I am for some storyline to destroy that in one little commercial. That's not what we're going to do. That is not what we're going to do. They got me upset tonight. And it takes a lot to piss me off. And no, Coco make it seem like I just jump up angry every day. No, I do not. You got to fuck with me to get me upset. I'm here. So, I'm... Y'all, I... Anyway. So, yeah. It's over. Good news is that SWV will be out on the road. We will be touring with Jodeci. I let it. In this episode, Escape has so much to say the whole time. But oh my God, all of a sudden me and Coco are on a rant and they're just quiet. Quiet. Oh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. Let me tell y'all. I, I, I did not want to do this show because I knew that it wasn't going to end well. When you have too many women together, too much estrogen, too many uh, hormones flying all over the place, too much ego, all that stuff, it's never going to end out end up uh, well. I never had a problem with Escape. I, I, I love those girls. I've always felt like we had a great relationship. But this show really brings out the honest truth. We must not have ever had a relationship. Because if it could go this bad so fast, there was nothing there to begin with. So, you know, and I'm good with that. I'm good with that. But... Yeah, to say I'm I'm disappointed is just an understatement. It's just an understatement. So, <sighs> uh, I wanted to bring you up in here because I, I just I was in here venting. You know, I get to How push me to that point child. when I just can't take it and no more. I'm like, I'm I, was like, I was just talking. It was that's what I said. They caught a little I, uh, dang snippet. And you I, talking to Lily? I'm and right, and I y'all like, ain't yeah, from New York. That tonight's Lily episode pissed me off. Us, me and you, about not being from New York. Yeah, so she was just right. saying, I'm like, we I don't want you from New York no more. Like, the edit is cute. It is. <laughs> you know, that did. edit was stupid. Yeah. They made <laughs> did, I, did I tell Don Juan, shut like, the fuck up? It's like you said. You, we were don't talking. <laughs> but you can tell that it was like a sound bite. Well, you can tell. No, we can tell. Other people, they swear it's good. Like I said, Don Juan, I don't give a damn about him. If you really pay attention, it's like you said it under you. whisper to yourself. Huh? It sounds like it. No, you said it to yourself. You but my point is, I didn't tell him to shut the fuck up. No, you, no. Wait, I, did, I, I would never tell anybody. Unless you come at me, I'm not going to tell you to shut the fuck up. But that... Right, and that day, how many people were in the kitchen? It was like 85 people. Y'all need to do this. Right. Where's the creative director? He didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. So I'm like, was, why do y'all keep long telling long us what to do? Shut up. Karen, this is Jomi Crew. It oh was ridiculous. It was and then they, how long did we have to wait for them to do their rehearsal? 
And we were sitting there for oh, yeah. a while. It's just, uh, and I just hate the way they cut up week tonight. Like, I, I said, I you did your good I'm singing on that one right there. And they cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> they cut it out. I said, I'm okay. personally, right, I'm going. a fan of music, but well, your personality is so dry and boring. Well, so is Shania. <laughs> Touch my eyes, girl. <laughs> dry that. <laughs> I don't mind being dry and boring. That's my life. I am dry and boring, and I oh, will God. accept that. I'm going to get a t shirt that says, I'm dry and boring. Don't call me. Don't hop on my live. Don't do nothing if I'm that boring. Get out. Yeah. Get out. It's over. But yeah, I'm going back. It's all good in these streets. We're going to drive for Bye, guys. <laughs> High five. High five. High five. I oh. <laughs> all right. I'm going to bring some more people up in here. But like I said, uh, Coco said I said it under my breath. Okay. I did. I never said to him, shut the fuck up. And it's I'll okay. That. And but it's you okay know, if you did. No, nobody's going to. I mean, no, it, it would be, because, again, he wasn't there to be our director, and just, just right. to say that's corny, He's nobody supposed to you. be nobody the little minion, you. but it's all good. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> but, but like I said, yeah, if I said shut the fuck up, it wasn't directly him. I can't even imagine saying shut the fuck up. Well, it sounded good. And them not coming back at you. <laughs> I didn't realize so many people didn't like him. I mean, like, like literally, my timeline is like good for him, good for him. I, he's, I didn't know. He's I don't watch Housewives, so I didn't know who he's in his. Oh yeah, I I don't watch Housewives. I only he, know him like in with Candy. He's a he's, little he's always candy. Always had a good relationship, but. <laughs> I was. You was gonna take him out if he came near me. I was, but y'all, y'all did a hell of a show. No, no matter. Where are you? <laughs> I, I just woke up. I so you, you went show. home and watched like your own out show right now. I, I just, I just can't take it. I know, I know. I've had it. I know, I know. And tonight, just after watching that episode, the way they had us, uh, me and Carlo looking like we were just constantly, all of a sudden, just this angry. Uh, yeah, that just pissed not. me off. And, because and how often do I want? Is, do I walk around know, cussing people out every day? It's so you? crazy how they just pretty much just judge you based on one little situation, not not even thinking about all of the stuff that we had to endure. Everybody have a great right. Complaint. Like, look, let's get this shit done. Let's let's do what we need to do because, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want to waste anybody else's time. We were just done. And so, um, right. At that point, the, we were ready the, the to house Let's get up out of here. Whoever's in charge, they they going to always win every time. And you, when we walked into that situation, we didn't have no wins anyway. Uh -huh. Everybody's uh -huh. intertwined. You know what I mean? Every the relationship all over there. So, came in thugging it out mm -hmm. and, and fighting for what we knew and um, continue to do that throughout the whole season. So it, it is what it is, you know. Right. So uh, when we, we were asked called, to do what were we asked show? to do? And, and, we, and we got the call. We didn't call. We escape together. Us to act right. because they thought it was a good idea. <laughs> obviously, they, they saw some value in us. Um, obviously, <laughs> because all this hate mail that we get, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, right, right, right. Yeah, it, and then everything you know, was the all the expenses was split down the middle. Right? I didn't understand the part about the money part. Where the hell did the money come in at? I don't know. But like I said, never, if standing next to us, doing a show with us is going to cut your change, they no didn't want to give it to you in the first place. Money. Like, I, I never understood where the money came from. And, you know, we 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 make this and we don't want to take a pay cut. Ooh, a pay cut for what? Yeah, yeah. And again, if we're the reason and you then, get you the know pay the crazy cut, thing, I was something wrong with the, your uh, business model. A little teaser. 
and it made it look like you was uh, cursing out Don Juan, right? If anybody knows Don Juan, they know Don Juan is yeah. not going to sit there and let you say some crazy shit to him. Thank you. Coco My, said I said it uh, to y'all right. or, or like on the that's, side. That's and yeah, maybe I did, but I know for damn sure you know, I didn't tell him about shut those the fuck sound up. Bites, they can put those sound bites anywhere. It's so sad that we got to defend every little thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you mm -hmm. know, everybody gets a turn. Everybody gets a turn, but I, I thought we did we did good this season. And hey, you know, and, and, and shout out to Escape. You know, they 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 fought a if this was a boxing ring, they fought a good fight. <laughs> 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 they they fought a hell of a good fight, boy. I'm telling you, but you know, you got all of these women who've done amazing things in the industry and we just basically fighting for what we love and what we believe. And I'm not even mad at that, but it's just the you know the the low blows and the shots or whatever. And I you know I didn't think really we could have handled a lot of stuff a lot different. So I'm disappointed in that whole thing. You know, sometimes we can get yeah. and I'm speaking collectively, like everybody who was a part, of it, even behind the scenes, we just handled the shit so bad mm -hmm. sometimes that we just get caught up in the hype of this and that, and it, it, it's just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and we we saw what happened as a result of that all right so you guys just saw those clips so i personally think this is not the end of the swv escape dragon ball t series i think there'll be more drama to come because like i said i'm sure escape will have something to reply to their live stream so this entire situation is crazy but i will say this i do believe that week should have been the last song played I do feel like Week was the stronger song. I do feel that Week should have ended it because when they were singing Week, the audience was really participating. They really liked it. They left on a high note. Now, I love understanding, but I think that understanding should have came before Week. But that's just my opinion. So I leave the question up to you guys. Did you guys watch the season finale? How did y'all feel about it? How do you guys feel about Latasha's interview with Andy Cohen? And then also, do you agree that Week was a stronger song and they should have saved the best for last? Or do you feel like Understanding was a good song as well and it was better that Understanding went last? So feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.